Hi, this is Bonnie with TLC Inspirations and today I'm attempting the fly stitch for hand embroidery as part of the Learn With Me series. So I have a guideline and I came up with my thread on the right hand side and I'm going down into the fabric on the left hand side. I'm not going to pull my thread all the way through because I'm going to come up through that loop I'll get it to lay down straight here. Okay, so I'm going to drop down a little bit lower than my um, last two stitches. And I'm going to come up in the center. And then pull my needle through the fabric. You can see I'm in between and then a little bit lower. So gently pulling my thread up and pulling it into a V. And then I'm going to stitch back down into my fabric a little bit below that and create a Y, which creates the fly stitch. Now the fly stitch can also apparently be used as a fill stitch, which I've done um, a skinny little leaf here, and I will show you how I did that, um, doing a little fatter leaf using the fly stitch. Now we'll do another fly stitch just for practice. So I came up on the right of my guideline and I'm going down into the fabric on the left once again. Not pulling my thread all the way through. Leaving a loop of thread. And I'm going to come up with my floss and my needle on my guideline in the center there and a little bit below my last two stitch points. So I'm going to come up, pull my thread, and get a V shape, and then I'm going to go back down into my fabric slightly below that and create a Y shape, which again is our fly stitch. So that's how you do a fly stitch. Okay, for our leaf, we just start at the tip of the leaf and stitch a small little straight stitch down the center of our, our leaf tip. And then we're going to come up on the right hand side following the leaf shape and go back down on the left hand side. Again, following the shape of the leaf. <clears throat> Pulling our thread where we have our loop and then coming back up in the same hole at the, at the bottom of our that first straight stitch. If I can get it through here, there we go. Okay, now we'll pull it into the V shape. And that's the tip of our leaf. And now we're going to put our little anchor stitch or the leg of our Y. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see it's nicely filling in. It's a fun stitch to do. So we're going to keep on going until our leaf is all filled in. Again, we'll come up on the right hand side following the line of our leaf. Come back down on the left hand side. Pulling down to a loop. Coming up at the base of our last stitch. And there's another Y. We're just stacking up Ys on top of one another as we fill in the leaf. Another anchor stitch. And we're filling our leaf in nicely. see that we're making progress here. We've still got the bottom part to fill in. So we're going to continue stitching until we completely fill in our leaf. <coughs> Same thing. 
up on the right, down on the left, up in the center of our loop, and in our V and do our anchor stitch. And once we get to the bottom of our leaf, then I'll finish my little uh, stem, probably using either the outline stitch or the stem stitch. But you can see how nicely it creates a little vein or spine through your um, leaf. It's a couching effect and uh, it really gives a nice effect. And I hope that you will give it a try and that you have lots of fun with the fly stitch. And thank you for watching.